Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to use the RxJS in a different applications. Now I am taking an Angular applications as I already told you, I will be taking this Angular application. So if you want miss, you can work in any standalone TypeScript application or JavaScript application or in React or any, any, in any application you can work it. But I am taking Angular as a reference. Now, I what I can tell is, so for example, if you are having any, uh, if you are maintaining any applications or anything and you want to convert all the things to an observable. So you will be getting a doubt that how can I convert the all types of data into an observable? How can I play with the observables? How can I use the observables thing? So RxJS flavors, how can I use? So you will be getting a doubt. So I will explain you. As I already told you in the previous videos, RxJS, anything, so RxJS provides as a single API solution that is nothing but the observables for example in the JavaScript for different types of data we will be maintaining different solutions for promises we will be using for, uh, for promises we will be using the callbacks and all those things we will be using for asynchronous we will be using promises callbacks and all those things for events something like click event mouse event and all those things we are using the event handlers so like this for array means we will be looping on all those things but in RxJS we can convert is these all the things into an observable and we can make use of those observables and we can have these uh, our own operators and we can play with those things. Now I will show you in this video how we can convert this array promises and this what I can say is event handlers how we can convert into the observables I will try to show you. So I am taking a sample angular application so this is an angular application right now I am running it so this is a complete new application. Now if you try to check the output here so this is the output you will be able to see. Now let us go to the app component.cshtml. Okay, I am going to the app component that is HTML. So as I already told you that uh, what I can say is in Angular RxJS is shipped by default. Okay, so now we need to write it. So now here I am taking something like one array. I am taking one array. Here I can take something like uh, books. Okay, books array or something like this. Or otherwise what I can say is post array. Post array is equal to so i can have something like so title okay leela one and the description so we are having something like this one and leela one description okay so this is the common thing i am having an as array so let's think that i am replicating this one so here i will be having two and this is three and this is uh, what i can say one and here two and here three okay so this is a normal array now here if i want to loop over this array what i can do so i will be doing this for loop and all those things now i want to convert this up what i can say this array into an observable okay so how can i convert this one array into an observable let's try to see so we will be having a function in rxjs that is nothing but import from okay so this from is a very useful function which converts everything into an observable okay so here i can do something like rxjs so i am importing from from rxjs now let's see. So here I am using post array observable. So I am converting the post array into an observable, right? So for observables, we need we will be keeping dollar at the end so that we will be able to recognize that that is an observable. Now I can use from and I can do the post array here. So post array it will be something like this dot post array. That's it. So now this one will be converted into an observable. Now if I want to do if I want to get the value, it means what I will try to do is post array. Sorry, this dot or otherwise in the constructor I will try to use. In the constructor, so I can use something like this dot post array observable. Okay, so this dot post array observable dot subscribe. So we need to subscribe to that observable as we already discussed. So in this subscription, what I need to do here, <clears throat> I need to send an object such that it should has next. Okay, it should be a function and in this one I am getting the data. So what I can do here, just I can do console.log data. Okay, so the next and another one is the error. So if an observable has an error, so we will be this will be triggered. So here you will be getting an error and here you will be having the console.log error. Okay, and last one is the complete. So when the observable is completed, so say it is done with the sending the values, then we complete will be triggered so this doesn't have any what i can say any parameter so just i can write that console.log complete done something like this i can write it 
so this is the subscription so how i am subscribing so first i am creating a sub observable i am converting this array into an observable using the from function present in the rxjs so from will convert everything into the anything into an observable so now when we converted this one into observable so if you want to subscribe if you want to get the values from this observable means we need to subscribe and we need to send the observer next error and the complete so next whenever the observ observ observable is sending a value it will trigger this next method if any error occurs observable will trigger the error method in the observer and the complete method means when the when the observable is done with sending all the data it will trigger the complete so this is the code let's try to see the output so if i try to refresh this one see here you will be able to see the output so title uh, lila1 lila2 lila3 you are able to see the observable see and after calling all this array after looping all over this array so after sending this all array data so here you are getting five complete done okay so this is how we will be converting an a simple array into an observable now let's see another process so another process is nothing but this is an array we have seen right now i will take a promise something like promise okay promise is equal to new promise i am creating a promise this can be any asynchronous function or anything okay new promise so this will have something like resolve and reject sorry resolve and reject and this resolve and reject what i will try to do is i will try to write set timeout okay in this set timeout this is a method and here what it will try to do is i am trying to send the resolve okay resolve so resolve the promise sending data okay so this is the promise i am sending so this will be sending after 3 seconds or something like this that's it so this is a promise now i want to convert this promise into an observable how i can convert so promise observable i can take another variable something like this and i will convert using the from okay from will convert the into observable right so i can send this promise so promise if i want to send means i need to do this dot promise okay that's it now this is a promise observable so if i want to if you want to get the values from this promise observable means what i can do the same process what i can do is just i can copy this one and i can paste it down i can copy this one and i can paste it down so now this time i need to subscribe to this promise observable that's it so let's try to see whether we are getting five or not so promise done we i am writing in the complete promise done okay let's try to see whether this one is emitting the data or not so if i try to refresh this one so first time so everything is called then after 3 seconds you are able to get this data also see resolve the promise sending data and the complete is done promise is also done so this is how we can convert the promise into an observable also okay so now last one what i will try to show you is how can we convert the event handlers something like dom events something like click event mouse event or over event and everything so these are all the events how we how can we convert into an observable so those things let's try let's try to see here i am removing this all html okay so here i am removing all this html let's try to do it so okay so let's try to write h1 here i am writing h1 and in this h1 what i can do is so in this h1 i am writing rxjs rxjs so here i will writing rxjs observable so just i am writing the heading and here i can have something like one anchor link i am keeping one anchor link href is equal to so click here i am using this one click here i am taking i am taking an id click button so this is a just simple anchor link now i will try to see the output if you try to see the output here you will be able to see you are able to see the heading and also one button is there when i click on this button i need to get the value through the observable so that means i need to convert this one into an observable so how can we convert so we have added an id right so let's try to do this one so what i can do is let's try to implement after view in it okay implement after view in it so why because the dom has to initialize right so after view in it so let's implements okay after view in it okay so now after implementing this one so what i need to do here ng after view in it so in this ng after view in it what i will try to do is first i need to <coughs> take the value so now what i need to do so for converting for converting an event into an observable so we have a method that is we have a function that is nothing but from event so this is the method which converts not from from event which converts the event into an observable 
so what is the event i need to convert so document dot get element by id of click iphone -on button so this is the id i have given for that anchor link so now what is the event i need to do click event okay so i need to give the click event okay here you are getting an error that it is it may be thinking it has an what i can say null or html element thing so you can keep the bang operator at the end and now here you can do subscribe okay so i can do the subscribe the same thing again again the same thing so you can copy here and you can paste it here automatically so this complete will not execute any time uh, so the complete will not be executed in this from here why because so we don't know when the user presses that button so whenever the user presses that button we need to get the event from the click button and we need to execute that subscribe thing okay so that is the reason this this observable will never end so this observable will be keeping on listening keeping on sending the data whenever the user clicks on the button so the observable will send the data so that the subscribe next button will be invoked so now if i try to check the output so here so right now if i try to refresh this page so the two observables got executed okay so this is the array observable and afterwards promise observable right now so that that what i can say the dom event observable has not invoked why because it is waiting for the data to send so when i click on this button automatically see it is refreshing actually so now what i want to do is so just i can i will keep a hash so not to refresh now what i will try to do so let's refresh it again yeah it's refreshed now if i try to click here if i click here see i am able to get the mouse event if i click here again i am getting i am getting the mouse event so this this is the type we are this is how we will be capturing the event so whenever the user clicks on that button so we are getting as an observable so we are getting the data from the observable so this is how we can convert the dom event handler into an observable also so we have seen almost all the different cases in the javascript we are using the same process dot subscribe and we are using these all the methods so the array conversion we are converted into an observable the promise also we have used the same observable and for the dom event handlers also we are using the same so this is how we will be using the observables in in the standalone javascript language. this is not intended for the angular so you can use it in any applications okay hope you understood about this observables concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please do follow my facebook page also lila webdev so the link is provided in the description below thank you